Welcome to the Health and Wellness Marketplace. Here's your host, Laura Lewis. Hello and welcome to the Health and Wellness Marketplace. I'm your host, Laura Lewis. What is the Marketplace? Well, the Marketplace is your one-stop shop for the best vitamins and supplements on the planet. And best of all, you don't even have to leave your home to get them. Throughout the course of the show, we'll provide you, the viewer, information on how to obtain the items featured in the Marketplace. Of course, you can also visit our website at thehealthandwellnessmarketplace.com to learn more about the show and our guests. Now, stopping in the marketplace today is Richard Lentz, founder and president of Seagate. Seagate is one of the top supplement manufacturers in the world and have a wide variety of natural alternatives. Today, I want to talk about a supplement that has actually drawn a great deal of attention because it is so diverse in its ability to help in a wide variety of ailments. I've heard of patients using this supplement with anything from minor aches and joint pain to arthritis relief and to cancer patients using the supplement for support with their chemotherapy treatments. Of course, Richard. Richard, you know what supplement I'm talking about. Although it comes from one of the most feared ocean animals, shark cartilage is gaining popularity. One of the most intriguing components of shark cartilage is its ability to reverse what is known as angiogenesis. Let me explain what that means. Angiogenesis occurs when tumor cells create their own blood supply for nourishment. If you can cut off their nourishment, then you may have a chance at slowing the growth of the tumor. Richard, with all the different brands of shark cartilage on the market, what makes Seagate's shark cartilage so unique? Well, most unique is that we survived the 10-year period from the introduction of shark cartilage in this health food industry. Most of those brands, and I think later we'll talk about this in detail, although maybe we should talk about it now. Mm -hmm. We entered the health food industry in 1994, and we were doing this only because we had a person come into our plant and saw that we were processing shark for the meat, and, and we were making all sorts of different shark food products for a local population. And they saw we were throwing away the shark cartilage, and the guy that came into the plant said, you can't do that. This is a health food product. And, and you said, what are you talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, and he gave me a tape from the book, Sharks Don't Get Cancer, and we saw that well, if we made it into a powder and we bottled it, that possibly you know, it has these anti-cancer components. But it was something, it was a, a supplement, it's not a medicine, we couldn't make any, any claims like that. So we decided, well, okay, let's go ahead and make it, let the other companies make the claims, and we ended up in the health food industry by 1995. Wow, that is just awesome. I believe we have some pictures here to look at. Let's take a look. And see about now. What? It, what? It, now this is obviously one of your boats. What's going on here? Yeah, this is. Well, I used to work on those boats. Um, there, that's actually catching anchovies off the coast of Baja California. Now you, you started out as a fisherman. Okay, yeah, a simple right. fisherman. A simple fisherman. Now look where you are now. Okay, and what's going on here? Yeah, they're they've got the net filled with anchovies, and they're about to pump it out of the net into the boat because there's probably 100 tons of fish in that net right now. So the only way to get it out was with these huge water pumps that just suck it out like a big vacuum cleaner. Oh my gosh, okay, what's this? Now we're moving ahead to, um, this is 19, probably 1995, we built that machine ourselves. It strips the cartilage, which the lady is holding in her hand. It comes, after we fillet the fish, it still has a little bit of meat on it and you have to remove all the meat. Some companies back in those days would remove the meat by dipping it in an acid bath, kind of like a Frankenstein movie. Oh gosh! Where they were just the acid would eat up the car, the meat, and would also destroy the protein in the car. Well, speaking of speaking of sort of a Frankenstein kind of thing, you've got something on the table that. Well, this is the same thing it's she's the same holding. Thing. Yeah. yeah, this is a shark's cartilage. Can I can I hold it here? Let me see. You can have Dare it. I? Can I have it? I don't want it. <laughs> no, I can I can have. It. I can chew on this every day, right? So this is actually what you use. Yeah, that's dried. We normally will will grind that up into small pieces and put it in our freeze dryer. Mm -hmm. This we actually dried whole. Can I see, turn it like that. There you go. It, you can hold it up to the mic. Goodness gracious! It smells a little bit. Maybe no, you can I, I can smell it. it from over here. That means it really works. It's strong. I think yes. Well, we were one of the. This is important. The smell and the mm -hmm. color. You can yes. see that this is an off yellowish color because the membrane surrounding the cartilage, when you dry it, becomes slightly yellow. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can't get rid of the membrane when you're processing it. And we were running up against brands, this is back in the mid-1990s, that had absolutely no smell, that didn't taste like fish. 
it didn't have any white, any color at all. It was completely, perfectly white, as if you had put Clorox bleach into it. Oh, my gosh. And the health food stores, when we started getting it into health food stores, they were getting customer complaints, and they were opening up, and it goes, this isn't shark cartilage. It doesn't smell like fish. It doesn't look white. It doesn't have any of the characteristics. It's abnormal. It's not like a fish, right. So what we did was we ended up with this thing called the Red Booklet, which is a independent lab analysis of all the major brands of shark cartilage because I needed to prove what in the world is out there, why is it not looking, smelling like the other products that are on the market, and mm -hmm. we're getting criticized because we're the only product that smells fishy. After all, if it doesn't smell like a fish and it's coming from a fish or, you know, it doesn't quack like a duck, you know, what in the world do we have? That's right. So if it smells like a fish, it's going to, it's going to be more beneficial, which is like yours. That's basically what it is. It's, we don't want it to be too nice and too bland. And Well, yeah. it's the result of freeze drying. Yeah. You know, these other companies, most of them were buying products that were sun dried and they weren't smelling. So, so there was something weird going on. And, mm -hmm. and the lab analyses proved that most of the major brands had products that were cut with fillers that were sterilized and adulterated, they, and some of them actually came out in their advertisements during the mid to late 1990s talking about the beneficial methods that they were using for sterilizing the product. Mm -hmm. And what they didn't quite get was if you have to sterilize it at all, it meant that bacteria were growing on it and bacteria are breaking down the proteins. Oh my goodness, that's, that's, that's overwhelming. Okay, I believe we have one more picture here. Okay, what is that? What is that? Uh, that is, um, those are actually the fibers from the inside of the shark's fin. And we're cleaning the fins because we make another, it's another derivation of the shark cartilage. It's called shark fin cartilage, which we freeze dry. But it's really, it's, it's a very specific market. It's great for that anti-angiogenesis application. Mm -hmm. the, and we did this in, a, in an independent lab. As you've heard, we do a lot of lab testing. We sent the shark cartilage and the shark fin cartilage to a laboratory in Seattle some years ago to s mimic the work of Dr. Judah Folkman of Harvard Medical School. Okay. He, in 1979, this is a little bit of history, he discovered mm -hmm. in his search for a cure for cancer, he was just randomly injecting tumors that were transplanted into rabbit corneas. That was his medium. Rabbit for corneas, okay. Yeah, he'd grow cancers there. In their and, eyes. And mm -hmm. then inject, these were um, you know, a horrible way to do animal testing. Yeah. But he would inject um, different substances, come back a couple of days later and look and see whether the tumor had died. Mm -hmm. And in the case of shark cartilage, the tumor didn't die, but he noticed that the blood vessels surrounding the tumor had disappeared. It was cutting off their blood supply. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that was the anti-angiogenesis mm -hmm. effect that you had mentioned. The angiogenesis is a tumor needs to grow with more blood vessels and right, right. get more water and food. Uh, so Dr. Judah Folkman wrote, a stud, wrote an analysis in 1979 of his work, and it wasn't until the early 1990s when uh, this you might remember the book from Dr. Uh, Lane, uh, uh, Sharks Don't Get Cancer. Right, right. And he started up the company called Cartilade, mm -hmm. and then he sold it and started up Benefin, and then suddenly there were 50 other companies that were selling shark cartilage, maybe three of us that were actually processing it, but uh, mm -hmm. he, he was the one that brought shark cartilage into the industry. He was one of the companies that we analyzed in this booklet, and he also, in 1998, sued me personally and the company for $20 million in federal court because he didn't like the results of the independent lab analysis. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. A year later, we won. They quit and went home and begged the court to have us not sue them for malicious prosecution. But the fact was that what we were saying, that the product in the bottle was not what was stated on the label, was the truth, and they couldn't. They didn't want to prosecute us. Right, but. right. An example of, well, if you say something bad about us, that we'll just sue you, or we, you can't be better than us, and you guys, and the good guys won, and that's great. That's awesome. Uh, we got to take a break. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a break and then continue talking with Richard about shark cartilage when we come back. Seagate Olive Leaf Throat Spray is a natural homeopathic medicine for the temporary relief of colds, mouth, and throat irritations. 
Independent laboratory testing shows olive leaf throat spray to be a potent antimicrobial without the side effects of prescription drugs. Seagate processes a variety of health food products made from their own organic farm and fishing operations. Ask for Seagate in your local health food store or call toll-free 1-888-505-4283 because your health matters. Welcome back to the Health and Wellness Marketplace. We're talking about shark cartilage and its benefits today with Richard Lentz from Seagate. Richard, we mentioned before that shark cartilage can prevent angiogenesis earlier, the process by which cancer cells create their own blood supply for nourishment. Why is it so important that consumers purchase a product that they know contains pure shark cartilage? Well, basically, well, we can't make that claim that it's doing that. Dr. Folkman and Harvard okay. Medical School do that. Um, it's important to purchase a pure product because most of the products that were out there were cut with fillers, you know, in the mid 1990s, and it, and secondly, if they were that decomposed that they required, for the most part, to have radiation or or liquid methods to to sterilize the product, then the chances are the products weren't going to work for the consumer anyway. But really, the main application that we found wasn't the uh, anti-angiogenesis, anti-tumor support kind of therapy. Okay. What it was was a lot of the people that were buying our product were using it because they had arthritis or joint problems. <clears throat> I actually have been using it because I have bone on bone in one of my knees, and I keep running despite that because I have, I'm pain-free. Whether or not I'm continuing to break down that joint by running on it is another question altogether okay. because the cartilage is important. It's like a cushion to protect the bone from rubbing against it, its other side, but I feel better when I do it. Sure. Well, that's important, truly. But there's a doctor, um, Salvatore Albani at UCSD Medical School, who I got involved with. This was in 1995 through the local chapter of the Arthritis Foundation in San Diego. He's a rheumatoid arthritis specialist, juvenile arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and he was actually looking for the cure for arthritis. And the Arthritis Foundation first sent me to two other researchers. One was a professor, I think it was at UCSD Medical School also, and he sent, they sent me to the office, and this guy just about slammed the door in my face. And he was getting over $100,000 a year from the Arthritis Foundation for doing research. Mm -hmm. But as I learned with some of these people that are professors, that have private practice in 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 uh, their rheumatoid arthritis specialists, and they also get their research money. What would happen if the disease went away? You know, and what if it wasn't from their research that it made that it went away? They would be out of a teaching position. They mm -hmm. would no longer be able to yeah. publish and they would be out of a job. It makes sense, it makes sense. Well, uh, back to angiogenesis, I mean, you brought, you brought in a study. Let's talk about that. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see here. This is from the National Cancer Institute. At least two angiogenesis inhibitors have been purified from shark cartilage. More than 40 brands of shark cartilage are available to consumers. This was in, 1990, in 2003. Okay. Individual products may vary considerably from lat to lat because standard manufacturing processes do not exist and binding agents and fillers may be added during the production. Now, this is what you were talking about earlier as well. I mean, just that, is that, is that correct? Exactly. Is that what you're referring to? And also, I do want to mention two angiogenesis inhibitors. Uh, that's, that's what's going to slow down the tumor growth, correct? Yeah, that is what By they're cutting finding. cutting off the blood supply. Cutting off the mm -hmm. blood supply. Okay. Of course, what Dr. Folkman was doing and what these guys are doing are actually injecting the tumors with the shark cartilage. Mm -hmm. When we're taking it, we're taking it orally. Um, there's a lot of controversy over whether oral application of shark cartilage is going to have the same benefit as a direct injection, but nobody's going to be injecting themselves with shark cartilage because nobody has access except for drug pushers to needles. Mm -hmm. We as a company prefer to, I mean, this is interesting, and I brought the science because this is what brought about all the interest in shark cartilage, but the percentage of the population that has cancer and tumors compared to arthritis. I think over 60% of women that are 65 years or older mm -hmm. have some form of rheumatoid arthritis. Um, most of our population, either because of diet or abuse or running or whatever, mm -hmm. are going to get arthritis. Very few of our population will get cancer with tumors. A lot of us will die from cancer. There's different forms of cancers like leukemia, which are non, 
non-tumor cancers. But for me, who had a parent die from cancer, I am much more comfortable talking about a product that has pain-related therapy rather mm -hmm. than the scare that was going on back in the early 1990s to get people to buy shark cartilage based on if you have a tumor and a doctor has said there's nothing else we can do, go home and die, well, here's this alternative therapy. That was not the way to really be selling the product. But with shark cartilage and using it as a joint pain-related benefit, that's an easy one because you can tell in 10 or 15 days the pain is either there oh, or there. I was going to ask that, 10 or 15 days. We're going to take a break right now, uh, but then when we come back, we'll continue our talk with Richard. Welcome back. We're talking to Richard Lentz from Seagate about the benefits of shark cartilage. And now, Richard, we've talked a lot about shark cartilage. Out of curiosity, I mean, are there other components to the shark that are beneficial? Well, probably even more important than shark cartilage is the shark liver oil because it contains DHA and EPA, the essential fatty acids, which are the major components of our brain and spinal tissue. Mm -hmm. And we also process shark livers and we also process shark meat. And I needed to mention, too, as a company, we aren't going out there catching sharks for shark cartilage. This is a food fishery that we've been involved with since 1981 as a fishing company. Mm -hmm. It's existed along this coast since 1940 when sharks were being caught for World War II. They were used for, um, it was a vitamin, vitamin B, I believe, as a, until the artificial form came along. Mm -hmm. The fishery is healthy. We're members. We we support the CITES Treaty, which is a convention on international trade in endangered species. There are no endangered sharks. There are no even threatened sharks in this area. So we've been challenged from time to time, oh, it's terrible you're catching sharks, but sharks are part of the food chain. We happen to eat sharks, and we're not overfishing So sharks. it's in conjunction with that. Well, right. We've got a question from a shopper. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. Okay. What can I take to help with arthritis and joint pain? Well, Easy what one. can you tell you? Right. I mean, yeah. he's a perfect candidate. Yeah, there's really, I, I found that the two products work equally well, the uh, shark cartilage and shark liver oil. I oh, take okay. both, and I'm able to reduce the amount of shark cartilage now that I'm, I've been taking this at a reduced level for that many years. I'll take two, three capsules of shark cartilage a day when I'm doing a lot of running mm -hmm. and two capsules, three capsules of shark liver oil. But I'm really taking the shark liver oil because of the EPA and the DHA amino acids. Wait, wait, okay. The fatty acids. The fatty acids, fatty acids, the essential fatty acids, right, those oils. Um, and I'm curious, real quickly, do you happen to know how, why does it work the way they do? I mean, what, what's going on there? Well, I'm curious. Do they really know? Yeah, the, this Dr. Albani at UCSD, the researcher, believes, and this is his theory, and he's very well published. If anyone wants to look him up on the Internet, it's uh, Salvatore, like the Italian, T-O-R-E, okay. uh -huh. Albani, A-L-B-A-N-I. Okay. He believes, and this is a theory, but he's pretty much proven it in actual fact, that when your joint is irritated, say the knee joint, it gives off a substance which is a peptide, which is a simple protein, okay. which by chance happens to mimic the E. coli bacteria. Oh my gosh. It, so okay, so the bad stuff. Yeah, but right. it looks like good stuff. The, yeah, but well, it, it looks can be like good the, and bad at the same time, right? Yeah, but it okay. looks like the bacteria, but it's really not. Okay. It has the same structure. And some people that are predisposed to having rheumatoid arthritis, their body's immune system perceives that that's actually a bacterial infection. So what they do is they, their body automatically produces some T-cells or antibodies to attack what it thinks is an infection, goes to the area where those, those supposed bacteria are located, which is the area in and around the joint, and not only does it attack those peptides, but it also attacks the joint itself. Because you hear a lot of rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune function, sure, sure. which is the body attacking itself. That and that's, makes sense. And so that's Dr. Albani's theory. So Albani asked me, he said, well, try on your sh people using shark cartilage that have joint problems. Give them shark cartilage for a period of about, he said six months, but in actual fact it was a lot faster. Okay. He, his theory was that upon our digestion of the shark cartilage, which is like 90% protein, that we're producing a similar peptide to the peptide given off by the joint. And that peptide now, instead of being concentrated in the area of the joint, just like that E. coli-like peptide given off by the joint, mm -hmm. is now a food product circulating throughout our body. Got it. And he thinks that 
by diverting these T cells to go chasing after like a uh, uh, greyhound going okay. after a rabbit. So they go that away. Go that away, uh -huh. away from the joint. Mm -hmm. That A, what will happen is first we're diverting the attack away from the joint. And B, just like getting um, allergy shots over a period of time, your body will get acclimated to that peptide and stop reacting to it. Okay. So, Very good. We need to take a break real quickly. I'm sorry, Richard. Okay. But when we come back, we'll continue our discussion with Richard Lentz. At Seagate, we grow organic broccoli sprouts on our own farm and freeze-dry and process the sprouts in our own plant. Broccoli should be a part of your daily diet, providing high levels of sulforaphane, one of nature's strongest anti-cancer nutrients. Seagate broccoli capsules are a convenient and inexpensive way to take your daily serving, and you don't even have to taste them. Call 888-505-4283 to request information on Seagate's products and to place an order. Or have your local health food store order these products for you. That's 888-505-4283. Welcome back. Richard Lentz is joining me today. Richard, tell me about the study you brought with you. Well, besides Dr. Folkman, Dr. Albani, there's been a lot of other studies on shark cartilage and shark liver oil. Okay. This one actually came from Poland. Supportive treatment with shark liver oil components helps to normalize the levels of natural killer cells activity and reactive oxygen intermediates for people suffering from active rheumatoid arthritis. Now, is this related to what you were just talking about? Yeah, the killer cell activity is kind of like those T cells that are your body's immune system that are attacking, you know, it's, it's like almost having an overactive immune system that's going after a component of the body being produced by itself, but recognizing it as a foreign peptide, not as a peptide that was naturally produced by your own knee or joint. Okay. So okay. It, what they're saying, it's it's reducing the reactivity of those killer cells. Well, it, you know, I think the theme these days, is, I mean, with shark liver oil as well as a lot of other essential fatty acids, oil is in, good fats are in. Now, I understand you have a, a new product out called Marine Protein. And what is that? Marine Protein is another way of getting the omega-3 fatty acids and also getting protein supplement. Also, what we're doing is we're catching the anchovies and sardines cooking them, pressing them, taking as much of the oil out of them that we can because it's very unstable having too much oil in it. In fact, it would self, um, it would catch on fire actually in our plant. Oh my gosh. Because the oxidation of the oil in the fat. And years ago when we used to, I used to work in a fish meal company called Zapata, boatloads of fish meal coming up from Peru would catch on fire before they learned how to treat it with antioxidants. Oh my goodness. Well, let's look at the products you have on the table here. What we have... This is the raw shark liver oil. Oh, you're using this as a pointer, okay. Pointer. And we have the shark liver oil capsules, which we make in 250 milligram capsules, so they're easy to swallow. Okay. This is the raw shark cartilage, and I don't know if it shows up very well. It's showing up kind of white on TV, but it's really an off-white, sort of slightly yellowish color. And that's important because important. of what you talked about. It's not bleached. Yep, exactly. Okay. And, and that was one of the reasons that, you know, the health food stores were arguing with us that it had to be completely had white. Had to be pretty. Had, had to, to be, be white. Mm -hmm. Deodorized and white and, you know, just for the American consumer. But that's not good. No. That's not good. Okay, what else do you have there? And this is the shark cartilage, which was our very first product in the health food industry um, and that and now we ended up with 22 products but the shark cartilage is is one that um, probably 90 percent 95 percent of the people that are using it are using it for joint pain yeah I just love that I really do so yeah and we and you're gonna let me have that right that you can have it right now <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so which of these products would you recommend to start out with besides this besides this which one of these should if I was going to start taking something okay well to take something just as a daily supplement, that's yes. shark liver oil. Okay, and shark it, liver oil. I right. re recommend three capsules a day, two to three capsules a day. Two to three capsules a day, all right. There's 250 milligrams per capsule, so and 30% is omega-3s of a capsule. So if you take 250 milligrams times three, 750 milligrams, you get 250 milligrams 
of omega-3. Which is important. Important. Yeah, and it's always hard for me to remember how many milligrams you're supposed to have of all those things. But really what's neat about taking oils is it's really, it's almost like if you, we could just take them by the teaspoon, it'd be okay, right? Because they're like a food. Well, that's the way we, our grandparents used to take it, cod liver cod oil. Cod liver oil, that's right. So instead they could do, be doing, here's a teaspoon of shark liver oil, Johnny. Okay. Well, that's just the way our diets have changed. We don't eat fatty fish, so we have to take it as a supplement. Well, will you come back and later on and talk about some other of your, some more of your products later? Love to. Wonderful. If I can say that right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's all we have time today on the show for. But if you'd like to know more about Seagate and all their amazing products they offer, you can call 888-505-GATE or 4283 or visit their website at SeagateProducts.com. Richard, thank you for stopping thank by you. the Health and Wellness Marketplace. And to all of you at home, thank you for visiting the market as well. We're open again tomorrow at the same time, same place. So be sure to tune in. And don't forget to tell your friends about us. I'm Laura Lewis. See you next time on the Health and Wellness Marketplace. Have a great day.